Hello and welcome to this overview of the Continuum Image Restoration Unit, which comprises a broad range of image enhancement, restoration and cleanup tools for a range of host applications. I'll begin in Avid Media Composer with Continuum Beauty Studio. Like most of the Continuum tools, Beauty Studio may be isolated with a combination of chroma keys and shape masks. Quite often in these days of cameras equipped with ultra-sharp lenses and highly sensitive light sensors, we're seeing more detail than ever before in images on screen. Akin to digital makeup, the Continuum Beauty Studio filter was designed to automate the process of eliminating wrinkles, pores and other blemishes from skin tones in close-ups. Beauty Studio comprises a number of softening filters targeted at different detail levels from fine to coarse in order to precisely tune out the required details. Continuum Broadcast Safe is the best way to ensure that all of your projects are colour and luma safe for delivery to any broadcast standard. Simply apply the filter at the top level of your sequence or composite, select the preset which corresponds to the broadcast standard that you require and render. The resulting measurements are shown here when I enable the filter and monitor the output with Continuum Video Scope. This filter uses a soft knee approach in maintaining safe colour and luma levels, and by default doesn't hard clip the output. This allows you to avoid clipping in the output, preserving the tonal nuances in the highlights and shadows. The Continuum Flicker Fixer filter was designed to eliminate luminance changes on source footage with the minimum amount of effort from the user. Simply drag and drop the filter onto the source clip to remove or reduce flickering. The frame analysis method stabilises luminance across the entire frame, which is helpful in this shot affected by iris shift in the camera. In the case of non-uniform luminance shift, as in this example of a shot under fluorescent light, the temporal smoothing method stabilises luminance on a pixel by pixel basis. The Continuum Dropout Fixer was designed to fix field artefacts in a source clip which are present as a result of digitising tape-based media with old or faulty equipment. In this example I'll display a colour overlay to highlight the area for my effect and set the start frame prior to choosing the affected field and selecting the neighbouring field data to use for the fix. The Continuum Dust and Scratches filter removes unwanted dust and scratches from an image automatically and can be used to help restore old and damaged archive footage. In this example I'll set the threshold and range to remove the dust on the negative. But the reflections on the trumpet are also affected. I'll launch Mocha and draw a roto shape to protect the trumpet. I'll save my Mocha project for use elsewhere, and exit to Avid to save my Dust and Scratches preset. It's worth noting that Continuum and Mocha setups are platform independent and may be exchanged with any other host, enabling efficient collaborative workflows. To illustrate this, I'll switch over to Vegas on Windows, where I have the same clip in my timeline. I'll launch the Event Effects browser and apply Continuum Dust and Scratches. Now I can import the preset I saved in Avid on the Mac, along with the associated Mocha mask setup. Now I have the same result on a different host. With the Continuum Wire Removal filter, you can easily remove wires or other unwanted objects from still or moving images. The filter includes options for cloning from a user-defined source region to a user-defined destination, or blending pixels together from areas surrounding the destination shape. When working with blue or green screenshots, you can use this filter to remove wires or eliminate unwanted rigs or objects prior to keying. Wire remover may also be used to blend replacement pixels over video dropouts, or as in this example, to hide film scratches. Continuum Pixel Fixer is designed to fix pixels which are caused by dead spots on the sensor in digital video and stills cameras. Up to 10 dead spots may be fixed per instance of the filter. 
And in the case of shots that were sourced from cameras with heavily damaged or dirty sensors, you can stack as many instances of the filter as needed to generate a perfect, spot-free result. Next I'll move over to Adobe Premiere and take a look at Continuum Magic Sharp. Magic Sharp is a state-of-the-art image enhancement tool that generates razor-sharp images, with results that surpass any other image sharpening result, without generating unwanted image contouring. All of this is available in a hardware accelerated filter that will run on any video card across all supported platforms and hosts. In this example I'll fine tune the amount of sharpening applied to different luminance levels to achieve the required result, and apply the remove grit option to minimise artefacts. The Continuum Optical Stabiliser filter allows you to quickly and easily stabilise shaky video footage. The Optical Stabiliser uses optical flow technology to analyse every frame in the source clip to determine the movement of the camera, and then adjust the position, rotation and scale of the clip to compensate for the unwanted movement. Camera motion can either be smoothed or completely locked down. Unlike many other stabilisation tools, Continuum Optical Stabilizer doesn't require you to set and keyframe user-defined tracking points, which is very useful for images where point tracking data is unreliable. The Continuum Upres filter is used to increase the resolution of source clips, as in this example, from SD to HD, while ensuring the maximum possible image quality. Upres uses advanced techniques to maintain and fine-tune image details, generating much higher quality final images than those that can be obtained with standard host upscaling, and can prove an indispensable tool for anyone working in documentary post-production. Next I'll switch over to Blackmagic Resolve to examine Continuum Reframer. Reframer was designed to ease the work of integrating video that was shot in portrait format into a landscape video frame. A typical application of this filter might be inserting vertical cell phone footage into an HD format canvas. Reframer includes a number of effect options to treat the image data which is being used to fill the wide format frames, such as glow, blur, pixelate and colorize. I'll soften the edge of the foreground and apply scale and defocus to the background in this example. The Continuum Lens Correction filter was designed to reduce or remove image distortion in source clips that were shot using a wide angle or fisheye lens. It can also be used to make simple perspective corrections. Continuum Lens Correction includes a number of presets specifically designed for images sourced from GoPro cameras. The Continuum Remover filter provides a semi-automated means of removing small, undesired elements from an image or video clip by cloning pixels from one user-defined area to another. The built-in pixel chooser with integrated Mocha Planar tracking allows for greater control over the shape and motion tracking of the removal area. In Mocha I'll track a shape over the part of the frame I want to remove and set the clone offset as required. Now I'll move over to Adobe After Effects to take a look at Continuum DV Fixer. This is designed to remove diagonal staircasing, also known as aliasing, that's apparent in images or clips that have been subject to heavy DV compression or sharpening whilst maintaining the overall sharpness of the original image. DV Fixer can prove useful in removing aliasing artifacts from over sharpened drone shots, as in this example. The Continuum Noise Reduction filter smooths out noise by comparing each pixel with pixels in its immediate temporal or spatial neighbourhood. For each pixel that it needs to work on, it blends in pixels that are close in colour to the pixel whilst ignoring those that are distant in colour. This allows the filter to smooth out noise without losing detail. An integrated sharpening filter may also be applied to enhance edge detail without bringing back the noise. Continuum Motion Key enables the isolation and removal of a moving foreground object based on motion estimation. In this example I'd like to remove this lady from the shot, so I'll animate the region of interest to follow her movement. 
Now I'll view the Remove mask and set the number of neighbouring frames to use for calculating the remove. Now I'll switch to Remove mode and view the final result. Thanks for watching this brief overview of the Continuum Image Restoration Unit. Detailed tutorials and use cases for the individual tools may be found on the training page at borisfx.com.